Hello everyone. Thank you so much for following up our page uh, where we are acquiring basic skills as far as our computers are concerned. So now I want us to see how we can come up with graphs in our Excel work. This is something very quick, very simple and very automatic. So number one, you must have your data well arranged out and well organized. Like for example, here we have our COVID-19 statistics for selected countries. So we are going to see how we can try to come up with graphs. Now we do have different graphs or other charts here that we can come up with. Now when you go to insert, uh, this is where you can get your different charts in Excel. Now, um, I want us to look, I'm go, we are going to look at basically three types of graphs here and then the others you can still keep on creating them. Now I'm just going to start with the pie charts. Now pie charts usually deal with data that is in two columns. Okay, We only look at the maybe the names and then the data corresponding to it. For example here, I want to create a pie chart for countries alongside the confirmed COVID patients. Okay, So we highlight the countries and then our confirmed, confirmed patients. Then we come to pie chart. Then you choose a given pie chart that is, it, uh, that, that is there. Okay, So here I can go with the My3D pie chart. So it's as, it's as quick as this. Okay, It's as quick as this. Now, when you reach here, one more thing that you need to do, you can change the color schemes depending on what you want. So you see that every color is corresponding to a country here. Now, sometimes it may not be so, so clear. Another thing you need to add on, we need to change our layout. There are different layouts here that we can still play around with, whereby I need to know what is this US having, what percentage is it having, or what imagine this data is not there we need to see so there is this C chart layout here so when you come to chart layout there are several about seven layouts here that you can still work with so we have this layout so this one makes sure that every country is given its data then we have this other one which gives us a percentage as well so you realize that with this one here you can easily tell that 29% is for the US. Okay? So every percentage is allocated to that. Now at times some colors are similar. So you need whereby there are arrows that are pointing to each of that given data, like for example this. So that the each of the each of the countries is labeled directly on the given pie chart. Okay. Don't forget to give your your chart a title okay we can call these confirmed cases okay and then that's what we have so that's how we can easily come up with a pie chart so most importantly ensure you have uh, the data well spelled out then the other second type of graph that we can look at is the column graph so the column graph deals with more than two Columns. If you have more than one, sorry, more than two, yes, more than two columns. Okay. For example, you want to, to plot confirmed cases alongside the recoveries, alongside the deaths as well. So that is what you would like to come up with. So you highlight your data, highlight your data. Uh, you come to insert. So I want us to look at this column here. Okay, so when you reach at the column, we have still different columns here, different column graphs that you can come up with. But I'm going to go with the, the 2D column. I click on it, and our graph is complete. Our graph is complete. The, the rest of the things are basically now depending on our audience that we are going to deal with. Okay, Some audiences require the work to be so well spelled out others can easily self evaluate and no this is this this is the other okay 
okay so this is what we have this is the column graph that we do have that's, that we have set up so you see that these columns here each of them is every color here has a confirmed case or a recovery or a death as well so here you can easily tell that the deaths are too low they are the lowest we have very low deaths and then the recoveries are quite higher than the deaths and then the new cases are obviously more than that so you can easily tell even without this data here this can bring out a clear picture um don't forget still to label your axes okay don't forget to label your axes we need to get the title we need these axis labels as well so all this is got from the chart layout so in the chart layout you keep on switching until you get that layout which is quite uh, better for you so like for example this one here i have the title i have the axis labeled then uh, everything is there please any graph that you arm up with and it does not have this access it doesn't bring out meaning so well so you click inside here uh, you just click inside and then we said these are countries these are countries and then the other ones will be the number of people here are the number of people so it's very key this one it makes everything self-explanatory to the people that you are uh, explaining to so we can call this the covid covid data or rather any other thing okay so you realize that your chart is very well spelled out and it's well clearly clearly seen uh, still uh, the third one I want to use this firm graph to come up with the, third, the, the other third type of chart and that is the line graph now you can convert this one of these bars here into the lines if you see graphs for example rain for against temperature all of them are in the same in the same column graph but the line is also within there so what you do if you want to convert one of these bars here into the columns or even all of them by the way for example i want to convert these dates here into the column the line graphs so what you do you come and click on them click on one of them like for example here when you click on one the rest will be highlighted okay then you right click afterwards then you come to change siri type so when you click on change siri type you come to line and then you click okay so you see that these are now there there is a line which is from there the same thing you can even convert this the, the, the one for the data as well you convert it into the line as well so it you see that everything is quite clearly shown you can even convert this this recoveries you first click on it once then you right click then we say change and then we change to a line and then you click okay so you see that every there you see that the lines have come in you can even make the whole thing the same thing as well so you can work out in that given order so briefly that is how we play around with our charts most importantly is the selection of data maybe uh, something I've not told you is uh, how to highlight. There is another part whereby you can highlight two adjacent uh, co uh, columns. For example, if I'm to plot a graph of countries against the active cases, so I first highlight countries very well. Then you hold the control key, hold the control key without releasing it. Keep holding it as you highlight the other one as well. So you see that two columns will have been highlighted and others are skipped so from there you just come and then uh, create your graphs as stipulated in that given order okay thank you so much that's what we can have as far as the graphs are concerned please don't forget to subscribe so that we can get uh, more uh, more notifications about the upcoming videos thank you so much